Hi, I am Rinda. And I am Jim. Which makes us... Hardiness approach. <laughs> it does. Just want you to know that this is our second time through because the first time the recorder wasn't on. It was a great rehearsal. <laughs> We're ready for you now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> It's just as important the second time around. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't have a camera crew. I mean, when you got to be the actors and the camera crew and the editors. The producers. Everything. A lot of hats to wear. <laughs> All right. What we said was this. <laughs> We're in northern Nevada. We looked for seven months for a place to live. A farm that would be our own. And might I say we're in northern Nevada temporarily. We're here to help out a little bit. And that temporary is getting harder and harder. Yeah. Okay. But back to when we were looking for a homestead. When we were looking for a homestead, our number one, okay, I would have to say number one was affordable. Our yeah. number two yeah. on our list was the number of growing days that they had available to them so that we could grow our food, which is the whole entire purpose of our existence. <laughs> and where we are in Missouri- Not really. Was at 190 days. Yes, 190 so. days. We hoped for 180, it's 190 days. So, as he mentioned, we are in Northern Nevada. And we are in Northern Nevada until April. But we had one more growing season here. So, what is the growing season days for here, Jim? It, for our experience, if we're lucky. It, it, maybe, maybe 70 days. Maybe 70 days. Now, last year, on June 21st, the longest day of the year, we had a very hard freeze, and it took out everybody's food. Yeah, it was, it was devastating. This year, we had a softer freeze, June 30th took out our tomatoes and all the squash and the cucumbers and all of that. So we had put an order in prior to the season knowing that it's only 70 days tops <laughs> to be able to get plants that would grow within that time frame. Yeah. So we went to Territorial Seeds online during COVID when they were white, like the only people who were selling seeds and they we got corn and I wish I could tell you the corn actually I believe the name is just sweetened corn it's so generic but it's third it's 65 days to and, maturity to maturity and then when it grew it only it's supposed to grow up to six feet tall and, and it grew we're, we're like like three foot three foot maybe four we're like oh great so no corn again this year because last year it was six foot tall. No ears. No corn. <laughs> Little tiny thing. I think we got two off of the yeah, whole thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we saw a lot of corn on these little tiny plants. A lot of plants. ears showing up on these plants. And so, so we, we watched every day. They're getting bigger. And finally one day I thought. This looks big enough. The, gotta, t the tassel's pretty dry. I pulled one side down. And much to my delight. <laughs> It was corn on the cob! <laughs> We've been eating lots of corn. Our daughter has put up lots of corn. Yes. And uh, her little one-year-olds love eating corn on the cob. <laughs> have a picture of them. And I can't show them on here because I said I would never show them on here. But anyway, they're just so adorable. They just love it. We have a lot of tomatoes that have started already. They've formed various sizes. I think what we have to decide is not just where the blossoms are, but what size of tomatoes are we going to consider big enough that they're going to make it. Well, these are all grape tomatoes. Yeah. So I'm thinking on these, it's just going to be wherever there are blossoms and, and no tomatoes. We want to go. Hopefully, you can see that. Do you see the dozens of? Oh, there's just a lot of, of tomatoes. So we're going to take the the stems off that have the blossoms to force the plants to put all their effort into the tomatoes that have already started so that there's not a lot of effort going into other things. So we're going to just start clipping, pruning away, and hopefully this will help them finish off like they need to. 
So anything that's above. So if I have anything that I have that doesn't have. Anything that's above. Uh, anything the, above. Anything above. Jim, if they're teeny tiny like this, shall I just cut them off? I think I'm going to do that as well because. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's going to hurt. Oh. But, but, you know, if we're going to get tomatoes out of this, we're going to have to force these guys to play the game with us. So This is a very painful experience. So you can see that if we are able to utilize this type in Missouri, where we have we a longer have growing season, we'll have these really early in the season. Of tomatoes, yeah. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. So this is a reason why we traveled all over America, either over the map and Zillow or to them, looking for a place to be able to grow food. Because ultimately, that is our goal, to grow our own food. And if you live in a place where you, it does not grow, then that makes it so much harder. And people do it here. People grow food, but most of the people here are ranchers. Hunters, ranchers, and miners. A lot of, a lot of the folks do all of that, actually. So we're cutting off the blossoms. Yeah, anything that's going to take energy away from the plant and not put it into the fruit. Now, we were supposed to get, go down to 39 degrees tonight, or tomorrow night. And I just checked, and they've raised it up to 44. So I'm very happy So about we get that. another night. Oh. We also started taking our sticks. We didn't, I broke that one by mistake. Okay, let me rephrase that. I broke that one on purpose and then realized it was a mistake. <laughs> and um, we're going to cut the sticks down and be able to put cloth over them. We have terrible winds here. And so to put up uh, protection. protection is futile. <laughs> That's what we were doing the morning that Jim had his amnesia. <laughs> he, of course, does not remember that. Yeah, I don't remember. I remember leaving the house to come over to do it, and I think I have some glimpses of doing it. But ah, it's probably one of the other many times you've done it. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> could be. Wow, there are a thousand different. I'm just going to take this out, Jim. Yep, that's fine. Get it out of there. A thousand different tomatoes here. We. Knew there were a lot of tomatoes in here hiding. We thought there were a lot. There are multiples of a lot. Um, as we're getting in here to do the trimming back, we're being very careful to only get the, the, uh, the blossoms that are on beyond where there are already are tomatoes. But what we're discovering is the quantity of tomatoes is huge. Plus, there are many more than we realized are starting to turn to the red right now. So, yeah, this is, uh, you, you know, you who garden know that from one day to the next, things can change pretty fast. And the development here is going through a very rapid metamorphosis. So, as we're trimming off the unneeded blossoms, we're finding that there are going to be a lot more tomatoes than we thought we were going to have. And we are pumped. This is great. I, I have to admit, some that were already ripe that I knew were kind of going to shrivel by the time we picked everything else, I've eaten them. Okay? Is that okay? So this is why, this is how you have to deal with a very short growing season. You have to cover it. You have to attack it. You have to plant the right things. And yes, we have got some green beans, nothing like we got last year. Um, we've gotten really great carrots. I mean, um, good carrots, right? She was able to get carrots. Oh, she, she's been putting 
eating all the carrots she wanted and she's had to put some up. It wasn't a good year for potatoes. Excellent onions, excellent garlic, and uh, oh, oh, sadness there. <laughs> This year we also did not uh, try to tie them up because the wind was just too hard to compete with. So we just let them all lay down on the cloth that we have. So we'll end this video here, knowing that if you are in a very short growing climate like Alaska, Minnesota, Nevada, Idaho, probably Montana, um, we feel for you. We honor you for continuing to grow because it's hard it's really it's frustrating really frustrating this being the first year that our daughter has tried to garden she was discouraged and we kept having to help her know that she was going to get something out of it she's been amazed at what she's getting out of it but uh, it was very discouraging because freeze 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 wind 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 no rain um, it's hard yeah so that's why we're choosing Missouri. <laughs> See you later. Thanks for watching.